hi everyone and welcome back welcome to the second video and in this video we are talking about nest.js graphql so in the last video we talked about two different approaches schema first and the code first approach in the schema first we are writing the types we are using the graphql sdl language and in the type first in the so there is a schema first there is a code first in the schema first we are writing typing typings in the code first we are not focused on the graphql sdl language where we define type query type mutations and create custom types here we are going to focus more on the annotations more on the the types we are going to create through the typescript classes we are going to use this object type annotations field and different custom types which has been added in the next js graphql typescript module so only major difference is here we are not going to hear anything about schema anything about graphql uh, sdl types we are going to do everything in the typescript classes okay what i did is i recorded two hours video somehow the file is corrupted i did the live coding of the whole project but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to walk you through the code it's not that complex it's very simple because i have already covered many videos on nest yes uh typo rm with the postgres it's kind of same setup here we are going to have a three different modules this is the domain module and in this inside domain i have a category employee and project to show the relationship between different entities like projects uh, your organization project you have employees you have different categories uh, for the employees so there will be a one to one one to many many to one relationship in the, in the entities and we are going to expose query and mutations from all these three modules okay so inside domain module what do we have type rm module this is graphql module and the config module same as every same as the last video so we have config module type rm module and graphql module type rm module takes the same thing it takes the url a type name we are not passing the 10 different argument you can just pass the url and synchronize is true that means whenever the nestjs application starts it will synchronize the entities with the database type is postgres logging is true logging means you wanted to see what all queries type rm is executing when you are hitting the queries and mutations synchronize true it will always sync the database with the entities graphql module here we just need to pass the definitions okay when when i'm looking into when the graphql will look into all the dtos and all the types what should be the output because output we have to generate either you use schema first or the code first and we are going to generate the output in the root folder that will be a uh, graphql.schema.ts typescript file with all the types okay so what is the next thing i have already created all these folders and setup but it's category you define all these services so what a module contains a modules a service uh, we don't have a controller because we are writing graphql we have a resolver instead of controller so we have service we have resolver we have module we have entities and we have dtos rest all the things are same what did we do is we now don't have a controllers because controllers are router and those are used for rest apis here we are writing graphql so graphql needs resolvers which can be exposed through uh, which will you consume the services and you will pass the resolver in the main module so if i talk about a simple employee module what it contains we are already using type rm module you pass the entity because i'm going to use only employee entity here so i have employee resolver employee service right and you can see employee resolver employee service i have dtos and i have entity so these are type rm entities now there are big differences here like you write a simple nestjs uh, type or a postgres app here inside entities we have to define the typings so what types you see if you remove the object types and the field it is same as the plain old entities we were writing for type rm with the different annotations like column unique uh, generated column primary generated column and then one to one one to many many to many annotations and then entity these are what the existing code we, we were writing now what we have added two things object type field and types because somewhere if you wanted to use int boolean these are graphql types which you have to map with your uh, columns in the database table okay this is the field i got it this is a number this is the string 
this is the string you don't need to specify anything about string but if you want some column to be nullable or some field in the in the graphql types which is going to be generated as optional pass nullable true and then this is employee let's talk about project first inside project we have entity project entity and here we do have only couple of things id name code and project has a one to many relationship with the employee that means one project can have multiple employees with it or you can say one employee can be tagged with many projects so it's one to many and it is like single project will have so employee dot project if you go to employee and look into the entity project so project is pointing to where it is yeah project so many to one many projects can be tagged to a single amp single employee so it's like one to many from employee to project so you have to define these really uh, these annotations by direction in the both the entities here i'm using one to many and here inside employee i'm using many to one that means many employee can be tagged to a single project so coming to the project entity project has this relationship then employee and then employee also has a further relationship with the category that a single employee can be tagged with a different category so it's one to many so one is employee many is one is employee and many is category okay so one to one one to many many to one these are the three different relationships we have created inside categories if we see in the entity here we have defined many to one that means many to categories will be tagged uh, many to one that means many categories is tagged with a single employee okay these are the the different entities we have and their relationships now what we are going to do is uh, if you look into domain module here in future we are going to create these three modules also and then we will put those those three modules here project module employee module category module okay so we if you already know typo rm how to define the relationships and entities that is very easy now i will talk about very simple example is how to create a project for those we were also creating dtos same thing we are now also going to create dtos create project and update project so create project dto it's everything is same you can use annotations and all here i need to bind things with the type of uh, nestjs graphql type so i will be passing input type this is a one single field this is another field of type integer because this will be a body for the graphql post request which you are going to submit right so field update project here you might be just passing the id of the project and the code or the name so dtos are still simple same you can also add uh, annotation saying okay this is required or not using class validator and class transformer that id should be of number name should be of string required code should be of type number and required i kept it i kept that optional so now this is like partial type means you can pass the partial object from this this is how you can generate update dto from the create dto now we just directly go to the service and the resolver first let's talk about resolver because resolver is the replacement of your controller in the controller we were using annotation get put post and doing lot of things instead of controller we now have a resolver so it is resolving the type project because the project resolver is going to return the type project okay so you can see here mutation so there are a lot of things queries and mutations let's say talk about query first that is easy <coughs> so here inside this query what i'm saying is i have a project find one project so it is saying is okay find me one project so what i'm doing is here i'm using the arguments id integer and then i'm calling the service because we have injected the service here inside a constructor so here rest all is a crud operations like find all project remove project find one project update project and create project now the most important part is how we are taking the input in the controllers we used to do the dtos here also it's a dto but the type is different 
right we are using the object types and we are using field for the properties if you see this create project input uh, it's uh, of type create project input that contains the DTO and here we are using input type and field when there is an input we have to use input type when there is an object create the object type use the object type so here we have a create project update project find one find all remove project simple similarly uh, we if you look into the employee there we have a resolver there we have service and entity and the DTOs let's say like create employee update employee simple couple of fields with the input type update employee and when we wanted to create so this is the employee entity employee has a relationship with the category and the project many to one and one to many this is the employee service which is using the type ORM repository same as the project repository here we are injecting the type ORM employee repository and we are using this dot employee repository dot create and then save dot find all and here we need to populate the relationships because in the graphql queries we wanted to also fetch the data because we wa we don't want uh, the lazy fetch we want an eager fetch so wherever you are doing find all find one always populate always try to get the relations so employee has a relationship with the categories so employee repository dot find here we uh, don't have any where clause i mean i wanted to fetch everything so I'm just passing the relations otherwise you can also set where clause and pass your okay ID is something like this but we don't have ID we wanted to fetch all here find one so employee repository dot find one here we just wanted to find one if you wanted to populate the relations then you can also put okay find one employee find one employee and then populate the relationship or relations also which is categories Similarly update first find one based on the ID and then update the properties and save it then delete So this is the employee service that will be consumed by Employee resolver, which is nothing but a controller for GraphQL service. So here we have a resolver It should be returning a type employee and we have injected the employee service and now you can call these methods Okay service employee service dot create dot find all dot find one dot update dot delete dot remove here we took the input these are like aliases we have created mutation what is the mutation name is create employee whenever you hit create employee mutation it is going to call this create employee method it will take the create employee input which contains the employee name and all and then you are calling create on the service Similarly, this is the query which is returning the array of employees. So this is the difference. It is returning employee object, array of employees, sing single employee object. So here you need to specify so that the types can be generated by looking into the resolvers. This mutation, remove employee is returning the removed employee. This is updated employee. This is the query. This is returning a single employee object. This is returning the array of employee objects because this is a find all okay so similarly we have a category so this is overall i just want to walk you through the code because there is nothing complex here if you look into the update we are doing update by id update by employee id here we are passing id and the input so first we are trying to find give me the employee with this id and then update it so we can directly save it okay this is just basically typo rm i quickly build it so we have a resolver, we have a services, we have entities and the DTOs for all these three modules. Rest all, we just need to run this project and we need to just play with the data. Hi everyone, so let's start the application. This is our database URL. I already have every other files to bootstrap the, the database. You just need to do docker compose up. And as we already know, it will create the database and we already have type or a module that will connect to the database and we have provided type or a module dot sync true so whenever you start this uh, it will create the entities so what is happening is let's see the database this is our database which has a project employees and category table you can use any postgres client and just see what is there in your database here we have employee id this is the employee table and this is the project table 
okay now we can start playing with the graphql apis this is our node.js i just did npm run start and it starts uh, working this is the next.js graphql with the postgres type orm setup and there is no api routes because this is a graphql and we can use this graph graphql client altair client that is really nice you can just send the request and you will get the, the documents document contains like what all queries and mutations this graphql server is exposing so these are the queries find all employee find one find one project So these all queries we have find all employees one employees one project and if we just check the mutations these all are the mutations okay like the these are like CRUD operations and here we can uh, run a query or a mutations like find all employees add query here I can trigger this query and let's see we don't have a relationship data for now I just wanted to fetch this information find all employees are returning empty that means our graphql query is working we just need to populate some data through the mutations like i can do a create employee and create employee add query and create employee is taking some argument i think and here i can just target this much data for now so first name is one 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 let's say is everything is string it is running mutation okay that's good we created an employee and then i can hit the query again and this is a really nice client because everything you get handy you don't need to worry about writing the queries and mutation and you are getting the data Right. This is what I wanted to show you. We can talk about all the other APIs like create employee, create projects, create category, assign category uh, and tag the employee with the projects. All these things are there. Right. But this is just a simple demo. What I wanted to show every setup is there. We have Docker Compose up. Uh, so this is the type ORM sync. If you delete the tables, let's say if I delete the tables or delete the database or let's say delete the container, you can also try give it a try. I need to remove the volume also and you purge the volume so the data will be gone once the container is gone. So we have removed all the volumes I will do docker compose up to spin up the container again and then I will do npm run start so that we can see everything comes up again. Here I will do docker compose up. So it should spin up the container then we just need to restart the application and you know we now we have a database up but we don't have a tables type orm sync will create those tables for us in the database and it should start working as it was now i can just kill the application and i will start the application again after i create the database So here we can see our database is created npm run start has also started the application and we can see that now in the database because database is also pre again populated with the same table and I think now data is empty so it will show something like this we can again trigger the create employees and see how it is working but this is how it is overall looks like right we are doing the next year's graphql code first approach where we are using these type script annotations object type input type field and all these annotations and we are making our task easier okay so uh, that's it for this example uh, what we will do is in the next example we'll talk up we can talk about mongoose the only difference is let's replace the type orm with the mongoose and we can use uh, the we can use the same set of approaches schema first and the, the code first we can talk about the code first with the mongoose we can have just a single model and we will just do the crud operation there okay thanks everyone